I know that she was a little bit concerned for her safety that way, and I just want to make sure she's okay. New tonight, 911 calls shedding new light on the Enoch murder that left a family of seven dead. Those who called for help were worried about Tasha Haight and the safety of her children. Yeah, calls poured into dispatch during the hours before family of seven was found dead in a small Iron County suburb. New specialist Brittany Tate listened to that radio traffic. Brittany, what did these recordings tell us tonight? Yeah, well, Mike and Deanie, it's absolutely heartbreaking to hear the concern from community members who knew Tasha was likely in danger following the filing for her divorce. She just has anger issues. 42-year-old Michael Haight murdered his wife Tasha, her mother Gail Earl, and the couple's five children before turning the gun on himself. I think the violence has been more with the kids, but he has been with her, but I don't think it's been reported. The 911 calls from the horrific day paint a picture of child abuse and red flags. I'm a little bit concerned. We, had a, we were supposed to, um, we had an appointment scheduled that she missed. She doesn't ever miss appointments. Tasha didn't show up to an appointment at 9 o'clock on the morning of January 4th. Is there any way I can set up to do a well check at her home? Those concerned called police, knowing Tasha had recently filed for divorce. She was refusing to leave the home and that's what the paperwork was. She was going to file paperwork to get him out. Worried about firearms in the home, this caller urged police to make a stop at the couple's house. I know they had guns, but she thought they were safe, um, locked up, because I was trying to ask if he would have access to those. But I don't know what happened that way. I, I'm actually thinking he might still have access to those. I actually believe she came and spoke to the uh, police department a couple weeks ago to let her know this was the worst was upcoming just because she didn't really trust him. A cry for help, ending in absolute tragedy. I just got word that we have possible dead bodies inside. Police discovered the family's bodies on the afternoon of January 4th. Tasha's siblings later took to social media saying Michael hoarded the family's guns, leaving her vulnerable and without protection. And Enoch City also releasing the lethality assessment given to Tasha Haight after their daughter made claims of abuse against her father. When asked if Tasha thought Michael would kill her or her children, she answered no to that and most of all the other questions on that assessment. Dini, back to you. Hard to hear those 911 calls, especially when you know about the outcome. Brittany, thank you. If you or anyone you know is in an abusive relationship, there is always help available. You can call the Utah Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-LINK.